Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Stir the Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode on Black Girls News. Again, the what happened in a hundred years, you know? And it, like I said, it, it's just so sad. I, I really do feel sorry uh, for the victim, and, uh, and especially the mother, and most of all, the two young kids was in that house. Uh, to me, it's just was so sad that the fact that they had no witness to a murder and they was in the house, to me, I hate to use this word, it's like to me, they was trapped. They, could, they couldn't go anywhere. A Pittsburgh mother is dead after her boyfriend allegedly murdered her over Memorial Weekend. The police said the man was accused of performing the act right in front of his young niece and nephew. The victim in this situation has been identified as 34-year-old Tawana Williams. Neighbors and family are now shaken, but hope they can get justice for their loved one. I hope nothing that will happen like this again in this neighborhood, and I know it pushing me out, you, you probably had to get a bulldozer to push me out. I'm not going anywhere. The man said you're going to need a bulldozer to push him out. And that's the type of mentality we need to have as black people. Because they've taken our land. They have always taken our land from us. Because we're so money hungry, we'll sell our uh, ancestors' houses. We need to stop doing that and have that frame of mind that they can't push us out and they, they wouldn't have none of the stuff they have now. Good frame of mind, young man. Tawana Williams was 34 years old and lived in Virginia. According to her Facebook, she went to Pittsburgh High and studied at American National University. Tawana later obtained a license in cosmetology. She graduated in 2020 during the pandemic. Second. Tawana. Tawana worked in a career she loved as a hairstylist in a salon in Petersburg. When she wasn't working, she was busy being a mother to her beautiful children. Tawana also was in an on and off relationship with her boyfriend, Donald Johnson. Donald also lived in Virginia and he is 32 years old. And according to reports, Donald worked as an operator. And although the two were reported to be in a romantic relationship, reports didn't state the ins and outs of their relationship. However, Tawana was a person who was very vocal about how she felt on social media. She used her platform to express herself, but on May 27th at 5.10 a.m., Tawana left a message as it relates to storms, left a lot of people disturbed. She said, just because the storms pass, it doesn't mean it's over. It's gonna happen again, but you have to be prepared. If not, you're not dressed for the weather. A lot of bad things can happen. You have to have your raincoat, rain boots, and umbrella to make it through without getting wet because getting wet will make you go back and start over. And this time, I don't have time to start over. Sadly, just three hours after that message, Tawana was gunned down by Donald Johnson after a heated argument in a family home. So she was basically saying, if you stay with something, it's going to continue to happen and happen and over again until the change is made. And if you're not prepared for it, it's going to continue to happen. So this time she wasn't prepared to do it. And, and three hours later, he came back and did what she ultimately thought was going to happen to her. Violence erupts in Petersburg. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Burkett. A domestic homicide investigation underway after dispatchers got a call for shots fired at a home on Tally Avenue and kids were inside the house when it happened. The investigation continues. Neighbors who were outside stated they could hear the two arguing and later came gunfire. Police officers responded to the home around 8.54 a.m. Saturday after someone called 911 to report what they heard. When they got there, 
the officers found Tawana Williams, who unfortunately died from her injuries. Neighbors said Donald's young niece and nephew were at the house being babysat by their grandmother. I mean, like a tap gun, like a little tap gun, pop, 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 pop. When police got to the scene, they found the victim, identified as Tawana Williams, a Petersburg mother, now dead from multiple gunshot wounds. According to neighbors who were outside at the time of the incident, Johnson's young niece and nephew were present when the shooting happened and were being babysat by his mother. According to the neighbors, the two were arguing right before the shots rang out. Yates says that his community is usually a quiet one. After the incident, police immediately arrested him and charged him with first-degree murder. Right now, police do not have a motive in this case, and anyone with information about the incident is asked to contact the Petersburg police or their local authorities. I will continue to keep my thoughts in Well, can't nobody contact them because there was kids in the house. Now, they would be torturing the kids to have them testify on what they saw. So, they, it's, it's crazy that they didn't put these kids in this predicament where they're the only witnesses. And prayers with the friends and family of Tawana, especially the children who had to witness this. Right. This is That's completely right. devastating. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below. Let's please respect the family and the victim in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys dearly. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones. This is, this is crazy. It's crazy that he... Uh put that post up and then three hours later she's dead because if you don't want somebody just walk away that's that's the best way to that's the best way you can harm that person is by leaving them killing them is you know you can jeopardize both of you guys' life which is not worth it i don't understand why men does this and it's unheard of i don't understand now you you can't have her you she can't have you now you in the in jail getting toilet paper pregnant because you you can't you can't accept rejection well anyway this is another episode of stir the pot tv thank you guys for watching hit the subscribe button and the like button and i'll continue to bring these black girl news reaction videos